For it TV, the world is thinking. Uh, as some of you may know, I uh, wrote a, an article uh, that's become quite notorious, and I make much the same argument in this book, uh, called The Case for Bombing Iran. And my argument is that uh, nothing, not negotiations, not sanctions, and not the hope of an internal insurrection, will prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons. And the only alternative, the only way to stop them is by military action. Well, uh, I've been on the receiving end of a lot of uh, vilification and vituperation in my time, but nothing like what's gone on on the internet in response to this article has even come close. Uh, one of the uh, one of the headlines, one of the uh, <laughs> websites, featured an attack on on this article on me, had the headline which kind of encapsulates all the different uh, attacks, uh, though without the obscenity that usually accompanies them, and it said. Um, War, uh, uh, let's see, Jewish Nazi Podhoretz spews hatred, uh, spews genocidal hatred. That's it, Jewish Nazi Podhoretz spews genocidal hatred. Well, the, the, uh, the argument uh, is simply, and you've made, uh, you made half of it for me, uh, that negotiations have, been, have proved so futile that not even the negotiators uh, believe that they can, uh, that they can work. Uh, there have been two rounds of sanctions. Uh, passed by the Security Council, which uh, have not bitten, and uh, we uh, unilaterally impose some economic sanctions, which haven't had the slightest effect. Uh, there's talk of, uh, of a coalition of the willing outside the UN to impose further sanctions, but those will almost certainly be undermined by the Russians and or the Chinese. Uh, and uh, so what's left is, uh, is, is either bomb them or let them get the bomb. And I agree very much with what Senator McCain once said. Uh, the only thing worse than bombing them is letting them get the bomb. I have also been predicting uh, that George W. Bush will, in fact, take military action before he leaves office. And uh, the, uh, when I've been asked, well, if that's the case, why is he dithering for so long with negotiations and sanctions? And, and as I put it in my book in some other context, this is an example of a pattern he's followed of giving futility a chance to expose itself as futile, uh, walking the last mile, in other words, in order to, to, to uh, demonstrate that, uh, that the, the last resort of force is necessary uh, to take. Uh, the reason I believe that uh, Bush will do this uh, is that um, he has several times in public said that if we allow Iran to get the bomb, fif people 50 years from now will look back at us the way we look back at the men who negotiated the Munich Agreement of 1938 and say, how could they have let this happen? It seems to me very peculiar that he would put himself in the historical dock this way uh, if he did not intend to avoid the judgment of people 50 years from now. Uh, that he himself makes of, uh, of, the, uh, of the men of Munich. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm uh, predicting and hoping that uh, probably around next spring uh, the, uh, the cruise missiles and the bombers uh, on those uh, two uh, aircraft, uh, aircraft carriers in the, in the region will be ordered to strike. And incidentally, uh, as, as I think you suggested, uh, we have bunker-busting munitions that can get at the underground facilities, assuming we know where most of them are. We know where all the above-ground facilities are. And even though it's entirely possible that we couldn't wipe out the entire uh, program, we could certainly uh, delay them for five or ten years. And you know, who knows what can happen in five or ten years.